Hi, my bold brothers and sisters. This is John, and today I have a message that I've been wanting to give for a really long time, uh, and uh, I, I'm finally getting around to it because it's been on my heart this past week, uh, and it's about thankfulness, uh, the right attitude that we should always live by, and it's the attitude that helps us keep our head on our shoulders and keep our hearts in the right place, and it's also a make-or-break attitude that will build up the rest of our lives, the attitude of thankfulness. Uh, but before I do, let's just pray. Dear Heavenly Father, God, uh, help us to see all of the good things that come from your hand and help us to truly appreciate them the way that we ought to. God, help us to be thankful uh, in every area of our lives, God, that we can live with an attitude of gratitude, God, that we can be grateful for the things that we do that you do for us and that you've given us god and help us to uh love you the way that you love us god and to be thankful for your love god in jesus name above all help us to thank you be so thankful for uh, the love that you give us in jesus name amen so you know in life uh we are all given uh our fair sh our, our share you know we're all born into something you could be born in in you know some Californian upper class neighborhood to some rich family and live in a place where the weather's beautiful every day and you're wealthy and other people can be born in places where they don't have any money and it's hot every single day and there's diseases in like some of these third world countries and uh, you can see that uh, in these two different scenarios there's a drastic difference in material and physical uh, uh, needs being met. There's the people that are poor, the people that are rich. But I've been in third world countries before. Uh, I went uh, uh, in the Philippines uh, back in 2014 for a few months. And uh, I noticed, and I saw, I remember I seen a bunch of kids living in a shack. Uh, and they, and uh, there was a bunch, I'm talking like 10, 12, in this small little shack, small. And they were so happy and so thankful. They were jumping up and down and playing. And I, and I, and I thought about that. I said, how can these kids be living in such a difficult uh, lifestyle with such a smile on their face and I can also think of times back in the 2000s where there's rich wealthy kids in my neighborhood cutting themselves and listening to Marilyn Manson even though they have what on the outward would seem like relatively uh, uh, great lives compared to third world people uh, but um, a lot of times what it really comes down to is learning to take the good with the bad in life. Because, see, God God makes the rain to pour on the good and the bad. God, let, God allows bad things to happen to good people. And God allows good things to happen to bad people. And a lot of times we ask ourselves, why? And there's a song that means so much to me uh, that you might know that it says, Farther along we will know all about it. Farther along we will understand why. So cheer up, my brother, live in the sunlight. Because we'll understand this all by and by. And see, that song means so much to me because a lot of times I'm a thinker. I'm a deep thinker. And sometimes there's a lot of questions that I don't have any answers to. And I get pissed, I get upset, and frustrated, and uh, uh, and a lot of times, that's not the way uh, to think about it, you can't be getting mad, you can't be getting frustrated, a lot of times, uh, you're not going to know the answers, God is, like, like back when Donald Trump was president, people used to say, he played great 4D chess, God plays 144,000 degree chess, God sees things on a, such a deep level that if he tried to explain it to us, we would not be able to understand why. And so sometimes we see the rain pour on the just, and we see the good suffer, and we see the, we see the, the, the bad uh, people uh, uh, prosper, and we ask why, and it's, it's hard, and 
and sometimes we can get discouraged. But one of my all-time favorite quotes is by Meister Eckhart when he said that if the only prayer you ever pray in your entire life was thank you, was to say thank you, then that would be enough. If the only prayer you ever pray in your whole life was thank you, that would be enough. So a lot of times we can look at life and we can see all these things. And we can ask a lot of questions like I do. Or we can sit back and just say thank you. I might not understand, but God, I know you're good. I might not get it, but God, I know that you're good. And I just want to say thank you. And that I love you. And I trust you. Because, you see, we don't understand God's grand design. I don't. Like, I understand bits and pieces of it, but I don't understand the full picture. But one thing that I have come to know is the character and nature of God. And that he is love. And that he is good. All the time. God is always good all the time. And I have to lean on that. And I have to trust that God is love and that God is good. And in that, though I may not have all the answers, and though I may have to wait until the great by and by to get all the answers, there's one thing I know for sure, and that God is good. And that's why having an attitude of gratitude and being thankful on the bad days, and being thankful in the hard times, is make or break. Like those, like those poor third world country people but they smile and they dance and they're happy because they're thankful for a bowl of rice why well, you see these first world kids griping when they have a steak and it's not about what's on their plate and it's not about the food that they're eating but it's about the attitude of gratitude that's in their heart being thankful for what you do get and being thankful to god and that's the message that i have today is being thankful. Thanksgiving is coming. Halloween is past. All the Christians were really worried about Halloween and the devils this year because we got all stirred up. But this year, but this time is a new season and this is a season to humble ourselves and be grateful. Thanksgiving is coming in America and God has been working on the heart about being thankful. You know, when Dustin came, uh, I lost the crew on one night and then on the next night they were all uh, they had all uh, went to a far city from where I was at, and I kind of was kind of upset about it at first, and uh, I felt down about it. But then I had to humble myself and remember that all things work together, because I lost them, because I wasn't in the loop with what they were all doing. So I thought they were leaving on Sunday, but they stayed till Monday. But I humbled myself, and I remembered that God's Word says that all things work together for good. To those who love God and to those who are called according to his purpose. And so even when I don't understand things and even when bad things happen and when even I miss the mark or things fall apart or things don't go according to plan, all things are going according to God's plan. Because all things will all together work together for good to those who love God. And I had to remember that and be thankful that even if I did miss it and even if I don't understand why, that God... Uh, is working things together for for my good in all of it. And i got to be thankful for it. So when bad things happen to you, when you lose a loved one, when your job falls apart, when your car breaks down, when something happens, uh, try your best to remember that all things are working together for good because, because God loves you. And so you can love him too and rest your thankfulness into God. Be thankful. Catch yourself when you're feeling ungrateful. And remember to be thankful for everything. This is holiday. Thanksgiving is coming, and this is a great message that's been on my heart for a long time to give. That if the only prayer you ever prayed was to tell God thank you, that would be enough. It's one of the most powerful quotes I've ever heard. And I just want to tell you that I thank you all for your support uh, for this past almost two years. And I love you, and I bless you all in Jesus' name. And just keep a thankful spirit. Uh, and this will is make or break and will keep you like those kids that were happy in the third world country. Uh, even in hard times, a thankful heart can keep a smile on your face uh, when your whole world looks on the outward like it's rough. But thankfulness is going to build you up and keep you strong. So I love you all in Jesus' name. 
Just keep thankful. Amen.